Mock Exam 1, Problem 5. It is about regression analysis. If it is about regression analysis, you have two variables. X variable is your independent variable, and Y variable is your dependent variable. And if you want to use scatter diagrams to show that, this is your X variable, this is your Y variable. And in this case, number of contacts is your X variable, while sales is your Y variable. So your sales relies on number of contacts. And if we look at the question, it is always about Y hat equals A plus B X. X is your y, X, X is your X variable, independent variable, context. And Y hat is the variable you are going to predict. So the sales you are, going you are going to predict. Now let's look at the first question. Calculate the constant of estimating equation and write out the equation. So Y hat equals A plus B X. And the context is what is A, what is B. And from the Excel output, you can find that B is 2.195. And if you know your B, you can get your A. A comes from Y bar minus B times X bar. So you can calculate the mean of your context. That is X bar. And Y bar is the mean of your sales. And B, you already know it. So you get your A is minus 12.213. Your final equation should be Y hat equals minus 12.213 plus 2.19 times X. For the second question, estimate the sales for a salesperson who has got six contacts and comment on your uh, outcome. So your equation is y hat equals minus 1.213 plus 2.195 times x. This is your equation. So in this case, if our x is 6, what will be our y? And then we get our y will be 957 sales. So that's 975, uh, 957 of dollars. And if you go back to look at your x variable, you can find the number is always up from uh, 14 uh, or 12 to 50. And our newly added data is very different to the existing data. Therefore, we think that the standard error will increase. Which means we will get a very unreliable result. Now let's look at Number three question. Comment on the strengths of your relationship. If it is about relationship, you need to use coefficients of correlation. This is your R. And R comes from the square root of your R square. And don't forget from B, you can know the direction of your R, if it is a plus or minus. And in this case, we have found that R square is 0 0.951. So R will be um, also 0 0.75. And if we look at B, B is... 2.195 and this is a plus number 
So R will also be plus. So there is a positive correlation with that. When you interpret that, you say there is a strong and positive correlation between number of contacts and sales. This is your final answer. Now let's look at the number four question. The manager asked the sales data of an uh, 11th salesperson, and this data is on the estimating line. Will this change the strength of your relationship? And if so, how and explain that? Suppose this are our data. So there is a strong correlation of it. And now the manager has the 11th data, which is on this line. And that means the newly added data is very close or even on the line. So the standard error will decrease. And if standard error decrease, the relationship uh, of two variables will increase. So we said the relationship gets stronger. The strength of the relationship will increase as the data is less scattered. And you can also use the same reason to explain number five question. Will the standard error of estimate be influenced? The standard error will be influenced, but it will decrease as the point is less scattered. This is for mock exam one, number five.